intro. Hey YouTube, welcome back, welcome back. It's your girl Braised by Kayla. And I'm back with another video. As y'all can see in the first picture, I braided a money sign. If y'all wasn't able to get like a good look, you can rewind back or you can sit and watch me do it. So <laughs> please don't mind my sister in the background, just dancing, just dancing. But yeah, I started off with the two lines for the money sign and then I braided the S. So you'll see me do that here. Just go two lines straight down, then the S, you know, it's not really as hard as it looks. Like, you may see, um, like, see it on Instagram and be like, how she do that? Ooh, that look hard. But it's really not, actually. It's really not. I saw a picture and, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I saw a picture. Look, I looked at it really close and I saw how I was going to braid it. And you can see that the two small braids going down, the two braids, they're up under the S, if that makes sense. The two lines is up under the S. So, y'all just pretty much... Looked at the picture and went from there. Get a, got a good look. Got a good look of it, and then just went from there. So you see me, you see me part out the curved part for the S. I ended up redoing this braid, redoing the S. I didn't redo the S. I took it out and redid it. So yeah, and I was just making sure she. Uh, you know she like how I was doing it and she this is my co-worker by the way so she did it as I mean not as she did a money sign before so that's why I was asking her she's not like a regular client don't know nothing about braiding <laughs> she braid here too so yeah but yeah just comb that product through she wanted her edges left out that's why I part the edge out you know put a little gel on it not too much though you don't want too much gel because then it'd be real slippery and you just, you don't want too much gel. You gotta, you know what I'm saying, be reasonable with it, be reasonable. But don't be stingy at the same time. So yeah, you just get that braid. Just braid it in the, you know what I'm saying, the direction of the part, if that makes sense. Hopefully I'll explain that well enough for y'all. But yeah, y'all just, you know what I'm saying, just follow, follow through, follow through. <coughs> But yeah, like I said, I ended up redoing it. So it may look a little different right here than it did in the first clip. Because I redid it in my picture right here. So yeah. Y'all, Friday is my prom. And I am so excited. And I'm nervous at the same time. I'm thinking about giving y'all a vlog for that. Vlogging prom. Even though this is a hair page. But I still feel like I should show y'all. And I have locks. I have sister locks. So I'm gonna put a wig on for prom. And I'm so excited to show y'all how that's gonna turn out. I'm gonna get my nails done, you know, makeup done, you know, just the usual. And I'm so excited. So yeah, I'm, I definitely think I'm gonna give that, um, make a video for that for y'all. And you know, just give y'all a couple of snippets, a couple of snippets of, you know, when I'm at prom and stuff. I'm going with my boyfriend, by the way, so we're going to be matching, you know. I'll show y'all pictures and stuff, too. But, yeah, so when you do the S, well, when you do the, well, it don't even have to be an S. It's just any braid that or design that they want right there on the side and they want it pulled back into the other braid. Some people or some styles, you braid the back braid first, then add the piece in. Or some people at the end of that design and like feed it into like make that the start of the braid if that makes sense i hope it makes sense but if not then i would definitely make a more detailed video and slow it down and actually show y'all what i'm doing so yeah i'm just feeding in the hair and some people ask how do you know when to feed in how do you know how much hair to feed in it all just depends on the client's hair and head shape it just depends on the client because it's different for every client. Every client don't have the same thickness of hair or every client, you know, every client isn't the same. So you're not going to have the same for every client. So y'all see me stitching and weaving, stitching and weaving. 
and a lot of people ask how do you get your braids so close together without having to stitch it with a needle and thread i just add enough hair and i make the braids touch in the back so, the, so i don't have to add uh i mean so i don't have to stitch them because i don't like having to do that i like for my braids to be just you know just braid it and be, be done with it so all i do is just braid and i add enough hair for it to be thick enough to touch each other back there so it can look like it's stitched but it don't be like sewed in like sewed together that's the word is so it don't be sewed together because i don't sew my braids together in the back and one lady i remember i did somebody here and she asked me she was like you're not going to sew the back together and i was like here let me give you a hand hair mirror so you can see the back so you can like you know so she can see that i didn't need to sew it in and she was like oh okay it already looks close together and stuff so yeah i get that question like i get that question a lot people ask me do i sew my braids together i don't it's just they just naturally close together and i taught myself that technique because working in a salon really taught me so much but i didn't like i saw other braiders sewing the braids in the back. I didn't want to be that braider to have to sew the braids in the back. I wanted to just be able to braid naturally and just let it be, you know what I'm saying? Just look like, give it that sewed look without having to sew it, if that makes sense. Hopefully I'm explaining it right for y'all, but you know. But yes, <clears throat> all the edges out is left by request. She wanted her edge left out. Actually, she pulled them out for me. I was like, how much edges you want out? And she pulled it out for me, so. No, you don't have to get your edges left out. It's totally up to you. I ask every client, do you want your edges left out? I ask every client. Except if it's a little kid, I ask their parent or I typically don't leave little kids' edges out because, I mean, they're little kids. So what are they going to be able to do? Unless the parent requests me to leave them out, of course. But, you know. But, yes, I enjoy braiding. I really enjoy it. I can see myself doing this for a very long time. Y'all, I plan on opening up multiple salons. I already told y'all this in my other video, but you know, I just really love what I do. So yeah, I just want, I just, I just like to show y'all me doing the styles and stuff like that. So if y'all haven't already, make sure y'all go subscribe to my, subscribe, make sure y'all subscribe. Y'all can go follow my Instagram at braids dot by kayla kayla is spelled c-a-y-l-a-h because i know i told someone my name and they spelled it how anyone would spell it they don't know me k-y-l-a which is incorrect on how to spell my name but y'all know so yeah this is the finished product see y'all in my next video bye